Hello and welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. Uh, in this section we're going to solve this problem on the board, which is a circuit that has a constant current source. We have a 520 uh, volt constant source over there, a resistor network, and what we're trying to really find, the point of this problem, is the voltage, we're calling it V-naught, that lies across this 250 ohm resistor on the right hand side. All right, so, you know, like we've said before, there, uh, these source transformation things that we're learning, they're not replacing anything. They're not, it's not like something that, that is just replacing what we've learned before. They're more like an extra tool in your tool bag that you can sometimes pull out to simplify a problem. This is a great example of that. I mean, you know how to find this voltage here. I mean, I could just give you this circuit, and you can use Kirchhoff's laws to do this. You could also uh, use node voltage or mesh current. In fact, mesh current is the easiest to visualize because you have a mesh here. You know, you could have a sort of a mesh current there. You have a mesh current that lies in here, and then, and then you would also have a mesh current that would lie up there. And we've figured out ways uh, in previous problems and previous sections on mesh current for you to write these three equations and solve everything and what you would get in the end is the current flowing through this resistor and then from Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, you would have the voltage drop across it. So ultimately that's what we really need to do is find the current flowing through that resistor. Mesh current is one method to find that. Uh, you know, regular old Kirchhoff's laws is another way to find it. So those are ways that we already know but you know, mesh current involves three equations, three unknowns. You have to solve them usually in a calculator or it takes a long time by hand to get the answer. Let's see if we can figure out a way to use source transformations to simplify this problem. And when we do that, you'll see, I only have one sheet of paper here. The whole solution actually works only on one sheet because when you use a clever source transformation, then you don't have to solve a simultaneous set of equations. You, you don't have to do the matrix stuff or anything because you don't have to use mesh currents. So let's figure that out. What I see right away is that I have a current source here uh, and I have a resistor in parallel with that current source. So we talked about that before when we introduced source transformations. If you have a current source in parallel with a resistor, then you can rewrite it as a voltage source in series with that resistor. And we also said, I went out of my way to say, uh, let me ask you a question. If I cover up the 16 ohm resistor and just pretend that it's a short circuit here, that there's nothing there, then I think everyone would agree that the current source is in parallel with the 40 ohm resistor, so we know how to do that source transformation. And then I went out of my way in section number one of this batch here to show you that if you, if you put a resistor in the way of, of what you think would be a nice source transformation, this, this guy in parallel with a resistor, if you put a resistor in, in, the, in the middle of it, it doesn't really affect the source transformation. So really, the 16 ohm resistor is what trips up a lot of students, like, well, I, I can't do this because this is in the way. It's not really in parallel anymore. But it turns out that it can be shown that these little resistors that get in the way of your, of your ideal source transformation situation, they're not going to matter. So really what you're going to end up doing is just pretending it's not there anyway. Now let me make sure you understand. It doesn't mean that there's not current flowing through this resistor. I mean, there has to be. There's a one amp source right here. So there's current going through the resistor, but what it means is from the point of view of changing this over to a, uh, to a voltage with a resistor, to doing the source transformation, the 16 ohms isn't going to matter. It basically just it pretends like it's not there. The reason it doesn't matter is because this current is flowing through this resistor all the way up to the intersection here. So since it's flowing through it, then the actual source transformation theorem you know, works just fine. So what we're going to do is just basically pretend that the 16 ohm uh, resistor isn't even there. And what 